What is up YouTube, it is your boy Chico Filo here, back with a new video, and today I'm going to quickly show you guys what I believe is the best key binding for your controller, now that the key bindings are finally out for a controller. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you guys my setup. So, we're going to go on custom, and we're going to reset this, set it to build a pro, and I'm going to show you guys, I've only made two small changes, that's really all you need, like I'm happy with the way the build a pro is laid out. So I'm only going to change one thing, but this is a big thing. I'm going to change what we use for our edit to the gamepad, so the game menu. Instead of making that the map, I'm going to switch that to edit. And honestly guys, I've found this really, really effective. I've been practicing this on playground mode for a while. And honestly, I believe that editing is so much easier with this button, guys. So we're going to change our game menu from the map to edit. So now that we changed our game menu to edit, we need to get rid of something else so that we can still pull out the map because we definitely need a button for a map as of now we don't have one so i highly suggest getting rid of squad comms you don't really need that so we're gonna go to squad comms and we're gonna go to map okay so now we're gonna save that and that is it that is pretty much the only change that i'm gonna make okay guys now i'm gonna show you guys the best way to learn how to edit with this pad right here so i'm gonna show you guys a few things here in playground mode just a few things that I do, how I taught myself this. So I'm um, gonna start by placing a wall right in front of us right here. And we're gonna try just different combinations, sorry, different editing combinations to this wall right here. So we're gonna start with the door, reset that, start with this, reset, window, reset, door, window, reset, that as well, reset. Okay, so that is it. So I mean, if I did that kind of fast, you guys can obviously slow that down. And as you can tell, like, this is already making such a big difference instead of me having to press circle and then door, confirm, hit it again, reset, bang. That's such a longer process compared to just pressing one button, like honestly. Notice that speed right there. There is a huge difference right there because if you hold down edit and you're going to pick the boxes you want to edit, you still have to confirm it with the same button, confirm, hold it down again, reset, like instead of doing that you can just press one button which is right here literally the biggest button on your controller which is not hard to find i personally hit it with my right right thumb so i do move my right thumb away from the right stick right here if you guys can see that but since this button's so big and it's literally right next to the right analog it's really not that hard to just switch between these two that is pretty much it guys so that is our first way of getting to know this method the next method of learning this new editing mode is by making yourself an obstacle course right here. So it's pretty much an editing obstacle course. As you guys can see, I already made it. So we're going to quickly just um, edit our way through this. Uh, if you guys aren't comfortable editing like fast just yet, well, you guys can obviously do it like on your own pace. Like That is honestly how you're going to learn. When I first did this, I did it as slow as I could and slowly just built up my speed and eventually got really used to it. And now. I'm loving editing with this button, honestly. It's such a small change, but it's got such a big impact. Okay, so now let's get straight into it. I'm pretty much just going to find my way through this obstacle course, editing as many things as I can. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so you guys pretty much get the whole idea. Um, it's really not that hard to make an obstacle course like this. You guys can even copy exactly what I did and just edit through as much, many times as you can. Go over as many times as you can until you get used to it. I'd say a good 30 minutes practicing editing with this button is going to help you out immensely. It is honestly going to change your game. You'll be editing a lot more than before, 100%. So uh, yeah, that is just a few, a few things that you guys can try to learn this. So practice with the wall. Practice with an obstacle course, and you guys can even practice your rad pyramids as well. So your pyramid edits like that, so when you guys are rushing up. Practice going through your ramps. Sorry, going through your pyramids just like that. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button as well if you guys uh, found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Happy to get to 8,000 subs, guys. We are nearly at 8,000 subs. Really appreciate all your support lately, guys. And uh, that is it. Catch you guys later. Peace out.